So it's a place called Sweet Reads. Um, hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans? And where the heck are the Albans? We are in Austin, uh, not Texas, Austin, Minnesota. And we were just at, across the street, at the Spam Museum. And today we are at Sweet Reads. And there is the Bernstein Bears Museum. And there's a little weird theory, and we'll talk about that a little later, right? Okay. But we are about to go into the Bernstein Bears Museum. Let's check it out. Dogs are welcome here, director. Okay. This is so welcome to Bradley's Bernstein Bear oh. County. Look at this. There's 2,100 items. Okay. And so he's got all the books. I have to laugh. Brad was just in in June talking about how did he get started. He was six years old and he said he's pretty sure this is his first book, right? The Messy Room. He said, you know, the worst thing that a parent can do is when their six-year-old is showing signs of OCD, mm -hmm. give them a book that says collect them all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And now he's in his mid-30s and he's still collecting. So and this he, is... So this is all one guy's yes. collection? Oh my gosh. Do you yes. ever yeah. get questions about people coming in where it's like the Bernstein bears? <laughs> all the time. Yeah. This morning again. Yeah, the Mandela effect. Yes. We have the 1940s. Um, they started in the magazines and mm -hmm. the papers. And this is 1950. They started with this set. It's kind of like as a parent. Mm -hmm. All those things that you think in your head and you think, oh my god, I can't believe I thought that, but it was really funny. Mm -hmm. They put it into the books and you look at it. Oh, this is one of my favorites. The last word in animal husbandry. <laughs> Lover boy. <laughs> or feed him when he sneezes. Be good or old bitch. It, they're just funny. They're like all these awful thoughts. That's and they great. Make fun of parenting and marriage. Look at this at Valley Fair. That is yes. a big amusement park here yes. in Minnesota, but they had the Bernstein Bear County. Exactly. Now, is it Bernstein Bear or Bernstein Bear? Bernstein. 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 Yeah. Okay. And then, in, so this is all their fifties. The big And then in hunt. 1960, and you got to take a look. So zoom in. Oh, look at how at they the were difference. drawn. And this is 40 years. Difference. That is, yeah. Now, yeah, how Stan and Jan they were. have both passed on. Okay. And their son is Michael. They have two sons. Michael does everything by hand. Wow. And so this is his workspace. Okay. And when Brad, this is Brad that owns everything, when he went out to Pennsylvania to visit, uh -huh. um, he said it, they'd be chatting. And Michael would go over and he'd just kind of yeah. mess with it, maybe write some things. Mm -hmm. He was constantly kind of editing. Constantly editing and working yes. at it, huh? And so then, look at this, the yeah. world's largest yeah. collection. This is 2,100 items. Look at this. Brad has another 400 at his apartment up in Farmington. That's crazy. Look at this. They had when they were in the McDonald's Happy Meals. But the lunch boxes and the thermoses and look at they had a little picnic basket. It was like a tin. That was so cool. I think I think our kids had these like the baby bear <laughs> toy animals and the toys and noises books and stuff like that. I think there's something a lot of people don't know. All the Oh my gosh, like the view master stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With an actual game. Right. Yeah, the different games. And, yeah. I remember those, the story player oh, books and do? stuff. Oh, yeah. good for you. Yeah. Out of all these games, very few people say, oh, yeah, I played that, except for the spooky old tree, and I think it's the... But I like the way the games are based on an actual book. Yes. Like, you got yes. the messy room, and then you got the messy room book over exactly. there, but the games go hand in hand with the books. It's a great way to... Get kids to read and learn and things like that and have fun with it. Oh, they did Look at all the dress up costumes. This is so neat. Look at them all sitting out there. They're ready for story time. This is fascinating. I like the, the old Viewmasters and stuff. Hand puppets. 
The Bernstein Bears Live. So very hip. <laughs> and that's the early versions. Uh, that's uh, before they were all modernized to look like that. But they got a Cubs club. That's pretty darn cool. Look at the blankets and the comforters. All the different hand puppets and toys. This is amazing. They even got a pinata. Brother roller skates. He was battery operating. You push a button and you would actually roller skate. Look at all the porcelain figures. And the plates and the collector's plates. And they even had little stints where they would go on Kellogg's, like the Rice Krispies and their Honey Smacks, and then they would feature the Bernstein Bears. Valentine's Day cards. This is so neat. These are all music boxes. Right here. Look at all the backpacks. They had all these backpacks and lunch bags for school. They even had a little book bag, like if you went to the library. And t-shirts. So fun. They even had a holy Bible. The Bernstein Bears Holy Bible. Emerson, oh my God. tell me all about the conspiracy theory of the Bernstein Bears. Okay, so basically there's this thing called the Mandela Effect. Mm -hmm. And there's another conspiracy theory saying that the world actually ended in 2012 when okay. it was supposed to. And we got like sucked into a black hole. And now we're just in like an alternate dimension that's like super duper similar to ours. Okay. But there's just these small differences that everyone is like seeing. Like everyone thought it was the Bernstein Bears, but it's really the Bernstein Bears. And there's like a whole bunch of things like spelled differently than so what we thought just it was. a little off. Yes. And so this is one of the conspiracy theories here to prove the point that something has changed because everybody team seems to remember it as the Bernstein Bears, when in fact now they say everything is the Bernstein Bears. And when I listen to the intro to uh -huh. the show, the theme song, it says the Bernstein Bears. The Bernstein Bears. <laughs> Just like that. And I'm like, I remember it being the Bernstein, but that's fine. <laughs> so this is just... The this place called Sweet Reads, that's where the, the Bernstein Bear uh, Museum is. It's just a small little museum in the back, uh, but it, this is a great, great little bookstore. This is, they got so many uh, different things to read. They got children's uh, sections and young adult and uh, some great, great, uh, great reads here. So, full-fledged bookstore right here in the town of Austin, Minnesota. So, sweet reads, highly recommend. So this is Lisa, she is actually the owner of this store, and thank you so much for the little tour back there. Uh, and you've had a fantastic shop, I love yeah, this. So, you. we're definitely gonna promote it. And, uh, and then you're gonna go on to every other Midwest book. There we go, Yes, Excellent. You Midwest guys can even make bookstores. this into a wall map, and I'm right in the middle. Look at this, you're gonna put this in your, the girls' that. bedrooms. Oh, that's fantastic. Awesome. Isn't that? The Midwest so, Indie Bookstore Roadmap, are, and there and they you are. Have all of these fantastic. For your list. Awesome. Isn't that fun? And I think we're gonna buy a candle because they got all these like, <laughs> like a fairy tale ending I think I like, and trashy I think romance I like novel. Rainy Day reads I like the best. Rainy, Rainy, Rainy Day Reads the best <laughs> too. So. Although this trashy romance novel was pretty cool. It's kind of, <laughs> Life Adventures is Waiting Out There. That's an awesome sticker. Magnet. Oh, it's a magnet. So we're gonna get her get a magnet from here as well. She sells postcards and just all sorts of magazines and books and I'm a teacher. great mm -hmm. stuff. And I like this little 
end cove right here. But they've got these great, like, you know, the Harry Potter section. And so here's all the Harry Potter stuff. And, and just biographies are in here. And <laughs> the war film. Uh, yeah, it just it, all sorts of neat stuff. So, yeah. Definitely check this place out. Sweet Reads in Austin, Minnesota. Here's just one more shot of a Spam Museum on the outside. There's the Spam Shop and the Spam Museum. And it is 100% free to go inside. So it doesn't cost you a dime to walk into the Spam Museum. All free. Um, all supported by Hormel products. Um, and the Spam Shop, we got a lot of stuff. And we spent about 140 bucks in the Spam Shop. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah it's a great great little museum that's fantastic I like the name of this book here it's called the monster dog small dog with a big attitude although it sounds more like Kevin to me 